you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. It's dramatically new. Made possible only through years of research, invention, and innovation. Cliche, g'day folks, and well, welcome to my next episode of A World in a Jar. Now, I'm probably going to jinx myself right here, but I would like to apologize in advance for any construction type sounds. Now that I've said it, it won't happen, uh, but just in case you hear it in the background and wonder, what is that? What's that noise? Why is Carrot so unprofessional? Oh, that noise. Phone ringing, Skype calling, construction. Um, yeah, there's some stuff going on. Um, next door, outside, somewhere, and it's it's really annoying, um, but uh, I won't know until the editing process whether you guys ooh, can hear it or not. Uh, now, this episode I am doing here is going to be coming close to my final, uh, because I have explored all of Zijar's day, <laughs> and... Um, as far as I know, I will look into it a bit further. I have discovered all of the sponge pieces as well. Uh, I don't like you, zombie. Go away, zombie. Good. I don't actually need this spawner, um, so they can go. But I'm going to stay friends with, with my buddies here. They can go wherever they want, frankly. Uh, so today's episode, until I actually find out what is going on, is going to be a little bit, probably a time lapse style episode. Uh, but just kind of going through the last of the jars, making sure there's nothing else I have missed, um, and just sort of crossing the I's and dotting the T's, so to speak. Careful, Mr. Zombie Pig Man. I don't like you. How's a little baby one? Ah. Um, oh, and a bat. Still reckon they should add guano to this, but uh, whatever. Whatever, Trevor. So, so we'll see what's going on. Um, since I last saw you, uh, I've been able to add... Careful. Oh, hello. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I'm in trubs. <laughs> Well, where am I? Where the hell am I? I'm on top of my jar. I, that's, I've never died. I've not died before. I didn't know that's where I respawn in the lid of my own jar. Okie dokie. Well, that was, a, uh, that was a debacle, wasn't it? Stupid skeleton making me shoot the baby zombie pig man. That's okay. This is why we have spare stuff. Um, so I'm just going to restock, restock on my bits. Let's, I didn't have my armor on because I was saying naked hellos to you guys. Dang. Oh, well. Um, so, <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, yeah, just pretty much dotting the, uh, dotting the I's and crossing the T's. Uh, yes, I know. I said it around the other way before, guys. I do that. I do that. Are they still going to be pissy at me? Yes. Damn it. He was coming right for me. Was that the last of them though? Have they despawned? I want my staff. No. Here they come. Okay. Okay. And uh, and yeah, finishing up the last of the jars. So we never did get any netherrack, did we? That's a little disappoint. Touch disappoint. Should I just stand up here and kill him? Would be easier. Ow. He can still reach me. Because uh, we have soul sand, so I don't know why there hasn't been anywhere that didn't have... Ouch. Netherrack. Uh, the other point to that was I was going through the challenges. Here's all my bits and pieces that I'm not going to be able to fit. Um, I was going through the challenges, and there's just some blatantly that I'm not going to be able to do. Um, and those, those types of challenges, they're all well and good for when you're playing, um, on your own, but doing a video for you guys, I mean, you don't want to be waiting for me to collect 64 colored blocks of every wool. I mean, that's just poo. But with that, um, that's actually the point I was getting at is there's some things that I have not been supplied with, uh, that I am meant to finish the tasks for uh, such as there's nowhere that has given me cocoa beans I was really expecting to get them where am I going in the uh, in the jungle jar um, as far as see I only had, ever had one spruce uh, in this map 
and let's get let's get rid of the old stuff. We can we can wear new stuff. Um, and I never got a sapling from it, but I don't think that really counts. Um, but the squids, um, squids never spawned, so I was not able to do the wall challenge, uh, which is one of every piece. I'm sure there's other ones there, but just off the top of my head, I can't think of them. So we got to nip that in the bud, folks, and uh, and say goodbye to the actual. Oh, I'm getting all choked up. <clears throat> to the actual challenges uh, that do come as a semi requirement. Ooh, diamond. I shouldn't have left that behind. As a semi requirement for this game. Um, a pickaxe would help. So yeah, we, we'll kind of say um, too bad, so sad as far as completing the challenges. Uh, it could be classified as a fail on my behalf, but you know what? That's life and I can deal with that. Um, a little bit of announcement guys as well. If you haven't been keeping up with the Lima Lake series uh, that I am doing as a co-op with my very good friend Chuck, aka Hey Apple. Uh, there was an announcement in the last episode, I believe, on my channel, which was episode 20, uh, stating that because he loves it so much, uh, Chuck actually wants to do a co-op uh, adventure map-ish type thing like World in a Jar. And I had a bit of a look through and I found one called World in a Cube, which we are actually looking into. So if I do say goodbye to this series, which I believe off the top of my head, today's episode is episode 12. Uh, there'll be a little annotation there if I derped that and got that wrong. But that's, I think, I think, I think this is episode 12. Um, if I do say goodbye to this episode today, it's not going to be too drastic because if you guys have been enjoying it, um, it's, it's only going to be made double for the simple fact that I'm going to be uh, joined by Chuck um, for uh, what I would normally say, maybe the re re remainder of episodes or something like that. Not really, but uh, to start a new one in this kind of genre, because uh, I've really been enjoying it as well. Where do I usually put my stuff? Like that. There it goes. Like that. And that's in number nine, and that's good, and I'm alright with that. And chickens... Chicken spawn. Yay! <laughs> uh, so let me just think. So I just said that's the nether one. I'm not going over to the book one again for you guys because pretty much the only thing over there to do is to collect books. I've pretty much ravaged the jungle jar, but I must have left a wood block. That's really going to bug me. I'll have to fix that AFK. Um, this is pretty much this is pretty much the outro, folks. So clearly the desert jar has been evacuated. The same with what was that was like a hidden mine shaft one, wasn't it? I'm still going through bits and pieces on the uh, on the villager jar, um, but that's that's pretty much just collecting resources. As far as making a mob spawner, don't have to make one because that is one. So that completes that task there. The mushroom jar is done. That one has been leveled out. Uh, I did, just before I started recording today, I did uh, expand the mushroom area because I love their black soulless eyes. I do love the mushrooms and they were a bit cramped in there. So um, I've given them some more room, even though I don't have a gate access, but that's okay. That's okay. And these guys here, I've pretty much, I've done the farm here and I've done the food farm and there's not really much else to say, guys. Um, if there's a specific thing that you guys do want to see before I end this series, let me know in the comments below. Um, but I believe, see, there we go. See, this is my, there's the jungle. I told you I added the jungle trees. Um, but other than that, guys, this has been Carrot Top Plays MC finalizing my World in a Jar series unless you guys are really upset about that which that there may be one or two of you that i believe might be but uh, <laughs> but that's okay that's okay um but yeah this is this is the final episode unless you guys have anything else to say about it of world in a jar thank you so much for joining me looking so forward to doing their co-op style series of this with hey apple um 
so look out for that guys that will probably uh, be the same as the Lima Lake series posted back and forth on both of our channels so um, yeah it's it's quite cool oh just remember guys say good day to your neighbor